So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to create your own brush tip. So I'm going to start out by creating just some sort of a simple little graphic uh, about a smiley face. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go to the ellipse tool and I'm going to hold down shift. What this so there's my circle. I'm going to go ahead over here I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to create two more small circles to suffice as eyes. I'm going to create one more new layer, grab my brush, draw, I'm going to make the brush a little, and I'm going to draw a smiley face. So there's my smiley face. Um, the way I'm going to get this in there, uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to select all three of these layers, I'm going to merge them, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the selection tool here, I'm going to, I'm going to copy it, I'm going to do new, paste it by hitting control V. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to file, define brush preset. What happened there? Alright. File, define brush preset. Now that I've created my little graphic here, uh, my wonderful, amazing work of art there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. While having that the layer with my graphic on it selected, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to name this smiley.psd. So now what I can do, um, anytime I select the brush tool, I can go ahead and I can right click to bring up the brush dialog. I can go ahead and I can click on my little smile face here, which will let me stamp him endlessly however I want to apply it. So here I'm going to show you how to create your own pattern using a process very similar to how we created our own little tip shape uh, just a minute ago. So what I'm going to do here is I've created a simple little graphic of a couple rectangles, some different colors, um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this marquee tool up here in the top left. Now I'm going to select the area that I want with that. Now I'm going to go up to Edit and Define Pattern, and we're going to call this Rectangles. Alright, now what I can do, uh, I can go ahead and take, to use the pattern, I can go ahead and I can select an area first off, see how this works, and then we can go over here to the paint bucket tool, and up here in the top left where it says foreground, if you click on this and go to pattern, you get an option to select a pattern to fill it with instead of just a color. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the, um, the pattern that we just made, and I'm going to fill the selected area. 